Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of proportions, specifically how we can find the whole when we are given a part and a percent, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So take a look at our problem here. Here's a sample situation. A store has a book on sale for 20% off. That 20% off was $9 off, so what we need to do is we need to find the original price of the book. Well, when we're dealing with proportions, it's always good to set up this equation right here so we know what we're looking at. When you have the part divided by the whole, that is how we get our percent. And so what we need to do is we need to plug this in to see what we're missing. So we have our percent is 20% off. So I'm going to rewrite it down here and I'm going to say 20% off. Now the discount was $9. What is the original price of the book? Well, we need to figure out whether that $9 is the part or the whole. Well, that's the part that we took off because of the 20% off sale. So that's going to be right here. So what we're missing is our whole number. So once we have this, we can go ahead and rewrite our 20%. Let's go ahead and look at that as a fraction. So I'm going to rewrite that over here. 9 over our missing number is the same as 20 over 100 because 20 over 100 is the same as 2 tenths which is the same as 20 percent so now we have a few different options that we can look at first some of you might be familiar with cross multiplication otherwise known as the butterfly method and so let me show you how that works so these two numbers if this is the equivalent fraction these two numbers multiply by each other so 9 times 100 I'm going to put that up here, that's 900, is equal to these two numbers multiplied by each other. So 20 times our missing number. So 900 equals 20 times something. So what we can do is we can use inverse operations, and we can say, well, 20 divided into 900, that's going to give us our missing factor. So 20 goes into 90 four, different, four times, that's going to be 80. And that's going to be a remainder of 100. So that looks like 45. So it looks like 20 times 45. We'll go ahead and double check that here. Looks like that's going to be our missing number. Looks like we're going to have a 45. Let's just double check here. That 0 is going to give us a whole bunch of nothing. And that's going to give us a 10. And that's a 9. And there you have it. We've got that 900. So 45 times 20 does make your 900. So it looks like our missing number is going to be 45. But that's a lot of work. Is there an easier way to do that? Well, what we can do is we can look to see if we can reduce this. So let me rewrite this over here. So 9 over our missing number, 20 over 100. Well, that reduces. If you divide top and bottom, numerator and denominator both by 20, that makes 1 fifth. And so now we think, how do we get from 9 to 1? Well, it's getting smaller. So if we divide... 9 divided by 9, that makes 1. So if we do the same thing to the bottom, something divided by 9 makes 5. And if we use our multiplication division facts, that is going to make 45. Let's look at another example. So in this problem, we have 105 people responding on a survey. That's going to be our part. And that total represents 70% of the people. And so once again, we're looking for our whole. We're looking for how many people answered the survey. So let's set up our proportion here. 105 over an unknown is the same as 70 over 100. Now, before we do our cross multiplication, let's go ahead and reduce this. Let's, let's drop some zeros here and let's make it 7 tenths. So now we can do our cross multiplication here. So 105 times 10, well, that's going to be pretty simple. That's 1050, because when we multiply by 10, we simply add a 0. That's going to equal 7 times something. So let's go ahead and divide 1050 by 7. And that is going to get us 150. So it looks like we are going to have 150 people responding to the survey. And we can go ahead and just double check our work if we need to. To do that, go ahead and take your fraction and divide up. Divide the 150 into 105, and your answer should be the percent. 